Hi, my name is Lotfi Mrat. In this video, I would like to elaborate on the following. Yeah, you're supposed to watch the screen now. Good. So, what was written there? And I saw this as a post on Facebook and yeah, my mind started thinking, but I also felt something. And the thinking, yeah, it's interesting, we can all think, but what came up, I believe, is the most important thing. And so I decided to make this video. Everyone who comes on our path is there for a good reason. Is there to teach us something or to help us in a process, to give us tools, to support us, or to point out things to us. So, if you would start to wish to have met some people earlier, some people later, some people never, or actually having met in person certain people, which you only know from a distance, then I would like you to just look at your life and think of certain people who you would have liked not to be in your life at a certain moment. I, for example, I had for many years a manager who was a huge pain in the butt. Many years after I left the company, I got it. I realized that he was pushing me to stand up for myself. I didn't know how to stand up for myself. So he kept pushing me by being one day nice, one day being total asshole, <clears throat> and pushing me to my limits. And he was going to my strong just, uh, justice feeling. He was going towards my loyalty. He was going towards a lot of my values, my core values. And he was testing me there. And he was doing this unconsciously. He was doing all the things he was doing simply for him to reach his goals, which was dominating the team, manipulating everyone into walking into a certain direction so he would make the most profit and he would look the best towards the higher management. So he would be the king. And he managed to do this for many years. But eventually he failed. But not without creating a lot of pain within the whole team. And the team was... Uh, over 100 people at a fixed moment. So, with a lot of people coming and going. So yeah, many people had burnouts, had stress problems, had all kind of stress-related illnesses because everyone was being tested. So people hated him. He got bad nicknames. Um, people tried to screw him over. I mean, it was nasty. But this was because everyone was in the victim position. And as I said, many years after I left, I was not in the victim position anymore, so I could look at what had been happening. And also had had new experiences, had learned to do things differently. And then when I looked back, I saw the bigger picture and then it was clear to me. And then I picked up my phone and I called him to say thank you. This may sound strange to you, but that's really what I did. And what happened after is not relevant. Because what had happened is me realizing how all those experiences helped me to grow stronger. 
and to be a better version of myself. So yeah, for many years I wished that he was not there. But if he wouldn't have been, somebody else would have had to do this. Otherwise, I would not have the life experience I have today. I would not be able to do the work I'm doing today. I would not be able to help people overcome their issues, their challenges, their fears, resolve their problems. Because I had to go through a lot to build up this experience, to gather the knowledge. And if certain people would have come earlier in my life, people that I enjoyed very much, also, they would have been different. So their influence on me would have been different. My influence on them would have been different. And maybe we would not be friends today because we would have met each other in different circumstances and different things would have happened. So every person who comes on your path comes for a very good reason and comes in a very specific moment of your life and stays also a very specific time in your life until they have taught you everything they can teach you or until you have learned your lesson. And then either they go away or the relationship changes or something new will happen. So I encourage you to look back at your life and look at all these different people who came on your path especially the tough moments of your life, and see. See how these tough moments make you, made you stronger, gave you the life experience to do things differently or to, to add it up to other experiences and being able to do some, some, some other things or to help people or whatever. And for fun, try to visualize one of those situations not happening and what you would not have learned and how... the that could have affected the rest of your life, even your life today. So, I encourage you to now at the end of this video to take a moment to do the self-reflection and feel free to leave in the comments your insights, your questions. Before I forget, before you click away, check the link below, Patreon. It's a page I created where you can contribute on a monthly base so that I can reach my goals, so that I can help other people. You can show your appreciation for what you're getting from me. Uh, you will get exclusive content, things that will help you ride the wave and not hearing about the wave two weeks later, that there was a wave you could have been riding and would have changed things and improved things in your life. Uh, because I will be talking about what's at play right now in the moment and many more things. We'll also be answering questions. There will be possibility for webinars. So click that link and have a look. You would be helping me and help also a lot of other people because the more people start to donate, the more I can start to do, the more I can start to share uh, through charity work, but also traveling and actually go and meet the people in person, for example. That's one of my goals. But you will find all that there. And it starts at $2 per month. And for that you already get, actually you get the most important part for $2 a month. And the rest that you're going to donate is just you appreciating more or wanting a specific extra thing. So click that link and help me make a difference. Thank you.